Welcome back to Pits for Wrestler. Today we're teaching you an extremely simple but really cool model. It's a box, not any box. It's all, but it's a box that looks like uh, it's hard to explain, but it looks really cool. So it looks like it looks like the bottom half of a flask. From if you're using, if you do like chemistry, it's pretty cool. So let's start. To start, you're gonna start color side up. If you want a color one and you're gonna start to fold again half rectangularly in both directions this is one of the first models i ever designed i was learning that when i was one well let's see third grade or something maybe second no more like third or fourth grade and right now i'm in sixth grade so that was a long long time ago so turn over, and now fold in half the other directions, which is diagonally, from from corner to corner. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, sorry, sorry. There we go. That's better. Okay, now unfold and do the other crease. Actually, my turn is on. Looks a bit easier to see. Yep, never mind. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now you're gonna take you're gonna take this point and this point. I mean, as you guys can see, this point and this point, and push them together, making the the um making the water bomb base. If you know what to make a water bomb base, you can skip the, you, you know, then you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, I'll show you again. So, take, the, I mean, push this point down, and then fold this as in the port and the diagonally. Then the crease from the middle point down, you're going to make that um, a valley fold, and then make, you just kind of squash from there. Now, what you're gonna do is you are gonna, you're, what you're gonna try to do is you're, this is a bit of a tricky step. You're gonna make it so that this corner hits this edge and you're gonna make sure that this um, and this edge is perpendicular to this crease. I'll explain that in a bit. So, basically means that this um, this crease and this cre sorry, this edge and this crease make a bunch of right angles. A good way to tell that is to see an equal amount on each side of this side and this side of the crease. So, just line it up carefully. Once you got it, you got it. Now, it should be pretty simple for the other three. You're going to fold the corner, the, the other corner, to this point. Now, you're gonna take this flap and tuck it in to that po this pocket. To this pocket that, that the last flap had. Basically all the flaps have a pocket, but we're only gonna use the ones on the bottom, otherwise it wouldn't really make sense. Okay, now turn over. Once you get it good to, to, to your liking, and repeat. A, of course, you don't. Have to, and if you use this little hack, you don't have to do. You don't have to you know, do all that measuring all, all over again. Just make it. Just kind of use the back side to um, kind of line it up. And then whatever's easier, whichever side's easier to tuck in, you're gonna tuck in. Now here comes the fun part. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open, you're gonna fold so that this um so you're gonna fold the layers to the side and then you're gonna push down, kinda use your fingers to open it. Now 
and you have the box. It's quite simple. Although I'd very much recommend this for somewhat beginners. If you're new to work, completely new to work, like you never pulled something before, I wouldn't, I kind of wouldn't recommend this. I'd recommend you let the dog face their cat face first. But that's about it, I'll say. And the cool thing, this box isn't only a normal, isn't a normal box, besides the shape, of course. It's portable, too, if you squish it back together. Of course, you gotta be careful. You squish it. And then you have it. You put it in your pocket. And that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. And bye.